Heart Mayor, and today I want to talk to you a little bit more about mindfulness. Today we're going to talk about mindfulness and your brain. In our last lesson, we talked about how mindfulness can help us make thoughtful or reflective choices. We talked about how practicing mindfulness can help train our brain to get better about making reflective choices throughout the day. To understand a little bit about how this works, we need to learn about three parts of the brain that help us make decisions or choices. These three parts of the brain are the amygdala, the hippocampus, and the prefrontal cortex. Let's look at these three parts of the brain together. The amygdala is shaped like an almond and it's at the bottom of the brain almost behind your ear. Your amygdala is what reacts to things. Your brain thinks they're threats, they might be fears of yours, and they might be dangerous. Our amygdala is what keeps us safe. When we see, hear, touch, or think about something, our amygdala acts as our security guard for the brain. It protects us from anything that our brain thinks can hurt us. It activates our fight, flight, freeze response to keep us safe if it's needed. Sometimes your brain thinks you're in danger when you're really safe. This is why we may run when someone pops out at us or duck when we hear a loud noise. The next part of the brain we're going to look at is the hippocampus. The hippocampus is our memory keeper. It helps us remember what things are safe and what things are not. Our hippocampus forms memory with a relation or connection to our emotions. The last part of the brain we're going to talk about today is called the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is known as the wise leader. It takes the reactions that are coming from the amygdala and loops in the memories that are in our hippocampus that help us decide if something is safe or not and makes a wise choice of what to do next. In order for our brain to get the thoughts all the way to our prefrontal cortex, we have to be mindful or thoughtful to allow those thoughts to travel all the way from the amygdala through the hippocampus and all the way to the prefrontal cortex. When we do this, we're able to make reflective choices rather than reactive choices. Our brain. We know that we really want our thoughts to go to our very front of our head, to our prefrontal cortex. That's our wise leader. We often make these hand signals at school. You may have done it with your teachers before to really show a model of the brain. We put our thumb inside and the rest of our fingers up. We call this part the amygdala. That's our security guard. That's where we make those reactive choices. And then right through here, that's going to be where our hippocampus is. Those are our memories. That stores all the things that we need to know to help us make choices. And then our wise leader is our prefrontal cortex. That's really going to help us sort through things, decide how our emotions are affecting us, and really help us use those memories and think about those emotions and the things around us to make our best decision. So we have our hand down with our prefrontal cortex. This would mean that we're ready to be reflective. When we're sitting and we're thinking with our prefrontal cortex, or we're doing something and we're thinking with our prefrontal cortex, we're usually going to make our best decisions. But we just learned that our thoughts don't always go right to that prefrontal cortex. When they come in, they first go to that security guard, that amygdala, right? If there's too many of them, if there's too many things going on, oftentimes we react with just our amygdala. We call this flipping our lid. So instead of being able to make those wise choices when there's too much going on, often we flip our lid and we react with our amygdala. Have you ever flipped your lid before and reacted with just your amygdala? I'm sure we all have. Today, what I want you to do is practice using your mindful breathing strategies to help when there's just too much going on and you can feel that lid flipping. We're going to practice trying to bring ourselves back to a state of mindfulness that helps those thoughts travel 
from the amygdala all the way through to the prefrontal cortex. Let's practice one together here today. As we begin our mindful breathing exercise, I invite you to find a calm and quiet spot in your house for your practice. You may lay down or sit down wherever that spot may be. Once you've found that spot, go ahead and close your eyes and notice how your body feels. Begin to take a deep breath in through your nose and blow that breath back out through your mouth. One more time, in through your nose like you're breathing in a fall scent your mouth like you're blowing its bubbles. And as you are doing that, I want you to notice once more how your belly feels as you're breathing in. See if it's rising or it's, it's filling up with air and falling as you breathe out and that air leaves your lungs. For this practice, I want you to put your hand on your belly. And as you breathe in, I want you to feel your hand rise with your belly as your lungs fill up with air and fall and then rise and let go all the way in. Doing that once more. In through your nose, let that belly rise. We're going to keep our hand there as I have you continue breathing. But this time I'm going to guide your breathing. I'm going to do some counting. So I'm going to say breathe in, one, two, three, breathe out, three, two, one. And I'm going to guide your breath in just that way. Let's do that together. Hand on our belly. Breathe in, one, two, three, breathe out, three, two, one. Breathe in, one, two, three, out, three, two, one. As you're breathing, focus on that breath and your belly rising and falling. Making sure that as you're breathing in, that belly is getting full of air and rising. And as you're breathing out, the air is filling out of your body and your belly is falling. Let's do that together again. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. Three, two, one. In, one, two, three, out, three, two, one. Continue breathing as air and deep belly breaths. If your mind wanders, bring it back. Remember the practice of mindfulness is about pausing and becoming aware of your focus. Shifting your focus back to your breathing when you find it is moving or shifting to something else helps strengthen your brain and form those pathways of mindfulness. Let's do that big breath together again. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. Three, two, one. I want you to continue that breathing as you focus on your breath for another few moments. 
Take one big one together, breathe in, one, two, three, breathe out, three, two, one. And again to help yourself, breathe normally. When you're ready, open your eyes and draw your focus to the things around you as you begin to become aware of your surroundings. Thanks for learning about the brain and mindfulness with me. Tomorrow we'll talk about a concept called neuroplasticity. That talks about how your brain can change and form in new ways. Have a great day.